Some of us over an inch of rain. That was mainly a, a Davenport up to Dubuque or so. But now we are absolutely cruising with that wind out there. Sustained winds upwards of the mid-20s, 25 miles an hour in Marshalltown, 28 up in Storm Lake. Our school net sites coming in in the mid-30s for gusts right now, 41 mile an hour gust out there in Audubon. And this wind's going to be with us for a little while. We are just on the edge of this system still. You can see rain pushing its way up through Green Bay. That cloud line has receded, so we're all seeing a decent amount of sunshine. But the wind on the back side of this has been something fierce. But thankfully, we didn't see the snow from it. There's spots up in Minnesota that are picking up 18 to 20 inches of snow. And rain, again, continuing over the Great Lakes. Uh, we've got a much sunnier forecast and a much sunnier day out there as we head through our day with a mild, mild temperature, 55 degrees right now. That wind knocking it down 4 degrees. Other than that, it looks pretty darn beautiful out there if you can ignore the wind, which might be kind of impossible. 58 degrees by 4 p.m. A few clouds do build throughout the evening tonight and into tomorrow, but I think we'll see even more sunshine throughout the day tomorrow. Problem is, though, we're going to keep the winds around, and the reason being this area of low pressure just kind of sits over the Great Lakes for a bit. You can see these black lines, lines of constant pressure. When those get really close together, that's when we get that strong wind. And you can see those generally relax throughout the middle of the day tomorrow, but we're still likely talking winds of around 20 miles an hour. But at least we've got the sun. I feel like that makes everything so much better. Clouds, at least a dash of them throughout the afternoon before those clear, that will bring in some stray cloud cover into the morning hours as well. Other than that, though, almost completely clear for today and tomorrow. So if you are a big fan of sunshine, which I think most of us are, we're going to be having quite a bit of that as the system stays at bay off to the northeast and keeps any cloud cover or precipitation along with it. But the winds do remain as that system stays just off to the northeast. You can see even through the afternoon today, uh, we've got winds in the excess, sustained winds in excess of 30 miles an hour for areas to the northeast. Dubuque coming in at 36 miles an hour. And they take a little bit of a dip tonight, but don't think they're going away exactly. They drop into the low to mid-teens before they reinvigorate tomorrow afternoon back up into the middle 20s. We do have some of relaxing of these throughout the day on Friday. That's really your next best shot at a comfy day wandering out and about outside. Other than that, plan on hanging on to your hats and your ties as you walk around because it will certainly be flopping around. 58 degrees today. We see the wind. We see the sun. That will be relatively comfortable besides that wind. A few clouds off to the northeast, which we saw on satellite and radar. But tonight, don't expect too much of that. Wind chills, though, likely in the upper 20s to low 30s as those stout winds remain. Over the next few days, those temperatures drop. 54 on Thursday with the wind and the sun, down to 46 on Friday with a few isolated showers. Those persist into Saturday. But look at next week. Yeah, we have a little bit of a cold dip, but it does not last long. Back up into the 50s and even 60s by Tuesday, so spring is fighting back. <laughs> and we're only, what, four days away from spring right now? Are we? Oh, I didn't even realize that. Oh, man, time's flying. Okay, thanks very much, Jason.